everyone, welcome to this week's TV show in Happily. This week we have invited one person to our show, and then we will have a little conversations, like an interview with her. And I would ask her questions, so we can get know about what kind of person she is and what does she like. So now let's give the camera to her. Thank you. So hello everyone. I'm Cheryl, and I'm really really happy to join this show. So mom, can you see me? I'm on TV now. I'm your daughter. So back to the topic. My English name is a little bit difficult to read because it comes from a French girl name, and it represents the courage and illustration. So in the following few minutes, I will introduce myself to you about my hobbies, my talents, my learning targets. In my future major interests. So thank you. So let's move on to the first part. So Cheryl, do you have any hobbies? Of course I do. I have many many hobbies. For example, I like drawing, singing, and dancing. Oh my God, you have so many hobbies and talents. So could you please show us a little bit about your hobbies and talents? Sure. So first, my hobby is singing. I really like singing, and I can sing many songs. For example, let it go, let it go. Can't hold it back anymore. So my second talent is dancing. I really like dancing. So through my jazz performances, you can know that I really like singing and dancing. And I always put them together. Both of them would make me happy. So my third talent is drawing. So here's a picture I draw. So maybe you can take a look. Oh, you draw so well. So everybody, you must take a look at it. She draws a moon and a spaceman. So I think it is really good picture. So thank you. So I think maybe we can move on to the second part. So Cheryl, how do you study when you are at home? And do you have any own study skills and strategy? Of course I do. So I prefer paperless notes. So I would use my iPad and my Apple Pencil to make some notes on. So I think it's really convenient way to make notes since I can search the internet and get some information in like translations as soon as possible. So also, I think an important point when I'm studying is when I have done something wrong, I would write down it to a notebook. So I think when I later on open this notebook and see what mistakes I have made. So I will take a lesson from it, and I won't make these mistakes in the future. So let's move on to the third part. So Cheryl, do you have any academic interests like your favorite subject? Maybe psychology, yeah, and I would choose it for my future major. Wow, psychology, and I think it's an interesting and meaningful subject. Yeah, and、uh, I have done a little bit learning on psychology, and I think it's a really meaningful subject, since I think it's kind of subject which help people like untie their knots and soothe their heart. So I want to learn more about psychology and help people in the future. Fantastic! I like your attitude. Let's move on to the last part. So Cheryl, in your own opinion, what's your relationship with the whole society? I'm not sure, but I think I have a lot of experience in volunteer work. Like I was one of the leader of the volunteer association in our school, and I have organized a lot of activities for them. And now I am the leader of the Spark International English Teaching Program, and also I took whole charge of the Suzhou area. That's great. So I think the time is the limit. So do you want to say anything to the listeners in front of the TV? Okay. So hi everyone, this is Cheryl in Suzhou, and I like singing, dancing, and drawing, and also I enjoy making notes on my iPad. Also, I enjoy learning psychology, and I would keep going on in this field. Also, I have a lot of experiences in volunteer work. So this is me. Nice to meet you.